We got another reminder today about just how much the economy is being impacted from the spike in coronavirus cases nationwide. The government's monthly jobs report showed a sharp slowdown in job growth, basically reaffirming what we saw in a few other reports this week. In November, the U.S. economy created only 245,000 new jobs, down sharply from October's pace when more than 600,000 new jobs were added. Governor Murphy today signed a bill that expands the eligibility for unemployed workers in New Jersey to collect 20 weeks of extended unemployment benefits. As we have previously reported, this will help those workers who have exhausted both their state and federal benefits. More than half of the new jobs last month were in the warehouse and transportation industries as more of us shift our buying to online. New Jersey is benefiting from that. Home Depot has announced plans to open a distribution and fulfillment center in Perth Amboy next year. The company wants to bring on up to 400 workers to staff the new facilities and is already hiring for the positions. Republican state senators are pushing for more emergency financial relief for New Jersey small businesses and nonprofits impacted by COVID-19. Senator Declan O'Scanlan has put forward a bill that would provide an additional $300 million in assistance. We do have money. Uh, we've gotten out now a substantial amount of the CARES Act money, although I'm not sure it's in people's hands, but it certainly is into department hands. Um, but we also have a, a massive surplus growing every day, some of which could easily be easily uh, be devoted to saving some of these businesses. Republican members of the Senate Budget Committee say they want small business relief to be included in any new state tax incentive bill. They're expecting the legislature's Democratic majority may soon advance a bill to reestablish a tax credit program for businesses and corporations. Now here's a look at Friday's trading action on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler and those are your top business stories.